And there we go, we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this beginner's class with me. My name is Oliver. Ahead of us, we got 30 minutes of good fun, beginner's class. We're gonna take it slow. I'm gonna explain all the amazing features about MotoZoom, all the zones, all the resistances. We're gonna try all of it. We're gonna take it slow and we're gonna have fun while we do it. I'm sitting in Copenhagen, Denmark. It's morning or more or less noon and I'm ready to get going if you are as well. So let's go ahead and loosen up all of that resistance on your bike. Loosen up all of it and then we add a tad, add just a little bit. This is what we call resistance one. It should feel like riding a nice easy flat road. The easiest amount, amount of resistance we have here in Motosumo, we do have four resistances and resistance one being the easiest one, obviously. So nice, easy, flat road. Imagine that it's important that you do have some resistance. You can't go without resistance at all. In that, that way we're gonna get injuries and we don't want that, but just a little bit of resistance. So you feel some resistance when you are moving your legs and let's stay here for a little bit we're gonna stay here in the green zone for a start in the green zone for a start and that sounds confusing because oliver what's the green zone if you go ahead and look down you'll see a half circle and that's what i want to be or i would like it to be green for you guys all with me live or on demand it needs to be green. So how do we get it there? Underneath that half circle, there's a number. That's your RPMs, rounds per minute. How fast we are moving our legs. So the app will detect that for you. All you gotta worry about is moving them into the green zone. And that's in between 70 and 85 RPMs. So if you are in between 70 and 85 RPMs, you'll be in green zone and that half circle above the number will be green. How is it out there? Is it green? I see some green circles, that's perfect. Good job guys, awesome. We are just about to get started. Are we actually on the way? But I mean, right now we just want that blood going. We want all of our body to get warm. We want our head to tell our legs that guys, now it's your time to work. Now it's your time to do the work. And that's what we're doing right now. And when you are comfortable to do so, I would like you to slowly increase your RPMs. Slowly increase. So I want them above 90 RPMs, in between 90 and 100 RPMs. And look what happens when you go there. Look what happens all of a sudden. That half circle turns yellow. So that is our yellow zone. So, uh, what, <laughs> so what I would like us to do is stay in the yellow zone for one minute. And Oliver, are we gonna count one minute? How do we know that what one minute is? Guys, you're gonna count it. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. We can't count it. I'm gonna put on the timer right now. So if you go ahead and look at the top of your screen, you'll see a countdown. So that's what I'm gonna use each time. I tell you guys to stay a specific amount of time in a specific zone. I'm gonna put on a countdown and then you can see exactly for how long you're gonna stay in that zone. Right now we are in yellow at resistance one and we got 40 seconds to go. Guys, as I said, we are not pushing super, super hard today. Most important thing about today is that you're gonna leave more energized, you're gonna leave wiser on what the world of Motosumo can offer and how we use the different zones. After this class, you should be able to be ready to go out and try some of our other amazing classes that we do offer here at Motosumo. But if you want to do even more beginner slices, it's totally fine as well. In three seconds, we drop down, two, one, and back down into the green zone. So back down into green, and do you guys remember what the green zone was? In between 70 and 85 RPMs, there you go, green zone. And this is also a zone we use for recovery. So each time we've done a hard effort, or an effort in general, often we 
our the instructors will tell you guys to drop down into the recovery zone or the green zone and resistance one because this is a time to get down your heart rate we group get back some energy before we push yet another time and about that energy what is a good idea when you're doing these motosumo classes is to have a water bottle next to you so we make sure that you're not losing energy by being dehydrated you can even have some sugar water energy water energy drink in that water bottle if you want so you make sure to get in that energy a towel is a good idea to have next to you as well so that goes for all the classes here in Murasumo that is a good idea and as the good instructor I am I forgot both things <laughs> such an idiot <laughs> But you will forget it sometimes, but another good thing is I'm gonna put on a timer of 1 minute 60 seconds, resistance 1, green zone, so now you do have time to go grab that water bottle, go grab that towel if you want to. And in general guys, if you need to get off your bike today because you feel uncomfortable, it's totally fine. This is a beginner's class, so whenever you feel uncomfortable, just get off the bike regroup, breathe in, breathe out, and get, then get back on and enjoy and join the party when you feel comfortable to do so. Don't worry guys, I'm here with you all the way. And we got 20 more seconds in green at resistance one. So what we're doing after that is adding on resistance, going into resistance Three. So resistance three should feel like riding in mud. No, I forgot one thing. I forgot resistance two. All right, guys. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna add on resistance going into resistance two. I'm sorry about that, but resistance two is even better. That should feel like we're still on that easy night flat road, but we do have a headwind. We do have a headwind, or it should feel like riding in sand or gravel. So go ahead, add on resistance. Two minutes, yellow zone, resistance, two. So, yellow zone in between 90 and 100 RPMs. And resistance, two. I did put on, I just did decide to put on a long interval, that is a two minutes interval, cause I wanna show you guys what it feels like to do an endurance game class. We do have a class here at Motosumo called Endurance Game where we do kind of long efforts but we don't do it in that high amount of resistance or RPM so we will use green zone quite a lot and the yellow zone quite a lot and guess what? Resistance too as well. So sometimes you'll even see a 4 or 5 minutes push but plenty of these 2 minute pushes so if you do like these kind of pushes, definitely come join one of the endurance game classes. They are so, so great. Personally, I love them because I come from a triathlon background. <laughs> I come from a triathlon background. So I'm used to doing longer efforts, even one hour efforts and stuff like that. So these two, three, four, five minutes, they kind of remind, reminds me of that. And also great because you can just close your eyes, close down completely and then just focusing on nothing really. Just, yeah, I can't really explain how it feels, but you know, when you're pushing super hard into the red zone or even at resistance four, often you can't focusing on anything else than it, than it really hurts because you're pushing as hard as you can. It's different with these kind of efforts. In three, two, one. Driving down into green zone. Stay at resistance two. Green zone, resistance two. Stay right here. Resistance two, green. We're gonna stay here for a bit before we have one final yellow zone push. We're gonna stay at resistance two. Guys, are you ready? One minute into the yellow zone. Let's get it. Last 60 seconds. Yellow zone resistance two. And guess what? While we are turning it up, I'm gonna turn up the music. There you go. 
45 seconds. Hold it, even though the music will go down now. We push through for the next 30 seconds. And guys, I can tell you, I've been missing this. I've been away for one and a half months, racing Ironman Florida. Came in second of all, really satisfied with that. But guess what, I've been missing my Murasumo family. And finally, I'm back with Tuesdays classes. For a start, I'm only gonna teach two classes each Tuesday until my body is ready to do four. Three, two, one. Loosen up resistance, dropping down into the green zone. Resistance one, green zone. You deserve some recovery time. So go, go ahead and grab your water bottle and let's have a little share. Cheers. And just imagine that I do have a water bottle. Imagine me being the best instructor that you've ever met. I would have a water bottle next to you. I would take it right now. Get off the top and cheers with you guys. Cheers. Have a sip of water. There you go. All right. One more minute of recovery. 60 seconds. How are we doing out there? Feeling good. There you go. Awesome job. Guys, I see you and for the people on demand, I hope you are enjoying yourself as well. That's the most important part about today. And if it hurts just a little bit, put on a smile. Everything just comes in so much easier when we are smiling and having fun. And time flies by as well when you're having fun. Because look at that, we're almost halfway of today's class. Because that's, why, that's, that's because we are, we are having fun. Let me explain what is coming up. Coming up is a resistance three push. Now it's coming, I promise you. Resistance three should feel like riding in mud or maybe being on a small, small hill. Not a steep climb, just a small hill. The way we are going there is in the blue zone, in between 50 and 65 RPMs. So get ready, add on resistance, dropping down RPMs. Slowly add on resistance until you feel yourself being on that just small hill, nothing crazy. I'm on the hill right now, I'm dropping down my RPMs. And when you guys are doing the same, I'm gonna put on a timer. I want all of you in blue zone, there you go. Blue zone, blue zone all around. I'm blue, damn need I'm ready to push into the blue zone resistance. Three starting off with a one minute timer. 60 seconds sitting down. And when these 60 seconds has passed guys, I would like us to stand up. Cause right now we got 60 seconds at position one. So position one is the position we've been in all class. That's easy, you already got that figured out, sitting down, relaxing, just focusing on pushing with your legs. But position two, that is standing up on your bike. Not standing up on your saddle, just standing up in the pedals. I'll show you how that should look, what that should look like in 20 seconds. When the time has gone out, get ready to stand up with me. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds at the time, guys. 30 seconds at the time. I'm gonna cut this one short. Get ready to stand up in three, two, one, let's go. Still blue zone, resistance three, but standing up. Nothing crazy, we got it all figured out. But I wanted to show you guys resist, position two. Get ready to sit back, sit back down in three seconds. Two, one, sit back down. Finding a rhythm. Still resistant three, blue zone. On the next speed drop, we're gonna do the same thing, standing up for 30 seconds. How are you feeling? Resistance three is great. If you do like these high amount of resistances, we do have a stronger together class. You should definitely try that out. But get ready to stand up. Let's get it, guys. So a stronger together class, we use resistance three and four quite a lot. So if that's what you like, high amount of resistance, 
definitely go check that out. I think our famous Brooke Emery is teaching quite a lot of those classes. She is great. And three more seconds, two, one, and we sit back down, getting ready for the final stand-up resistance three push of the day. Who's ready? Who is ready? Guys, go flex those muscles. Pull on a smile. Get ready to push one last time. 30 seconds. On the clock in three, two, one. Let's get it. Final resistance three push of the day, I promise. Final five seconds, push all the way. Three, two, one, sit back down, loosen up resistance. Resistance one, green zone. All right guys, 60 seconds off the, on the clock. Recovery in, we got 60 seconds of recovery time. Get that heart rate back down. And let me explain what's coming up. Because we've just been through the blue zone, the green zone, and the yellow zone. We've been through resistance one, two, and three. So what we're missing is that red zone. And that's what we're gonna start with. The way we're getting into the red zone is by building up towards the red zone. So that means in a little bit, in 30 seconds when we are done recovering, I'm gonna put on a timer of one minute. Then we have one minute to get from 80 RPMs towards 90 RPMs. So that means in the end of that minute, we are entering the yellow zone. And then we build from yellow towards red. Just follow my lead, it's easy. I'm gonna explain it all the way through. Just knowing, in three, two, one, 80 RPMs, 60 seconds. So we got 60 seconds off the, on the clock, starting off around 80 RPMs, 81, 82. Slowly building up towards 90. I'm already at 83, I see. Slowly building up your RPMs. And while we build up RPMs, you'll see if you got a heart rate monitor attached, you'll see that heart rate. Doing this build is gonna slowly build up as well. All of it being at resistance one, so you guys got it. It's no problem. 85, 86, we are halfway towards that 90 RPMs. And you also know what a 90 RPMs push means. That means we are entering the yellow zone. Slowly getting there, not 85, no, 86, 87. 88, we got seven seconds, 89. And 90, we are officially in the yellow zone. What's gonna happen now? It's gonna we stay, we're gonna stay in yellow for a little bit. Then I'm gonna put on yet another timer. This time we're gonna push from 90 towards 100 RPMs. For one minute, starting off around 90, pushing towards 100. For one minute, on the clock, 60 seconds. I'm at 92, 93. Slowly building up towards 100. And when we are above 100, we're gonna push towards the red zone for one minute in between 100 and 110 RPMs and then entering officially the red zone. Red zone is in between 110 and 130 RPMs. But you got it, guys. Right now we are still in yellow. 95, 96, slowly building up towards 100 RPMs, producing plenty of RPMs right now. 98, slowly getting there, slowly building up. 99, guys, get ready for plus 100 RPMs push. We are also inside the last 10 minutes of this class. Amazing job. Three, two, one, 100 RPM. So now we got one minute to build from 100 to 110 RPMs. 60 seconds on the clock. So 100 and 102 
building up towards 110. And guys, when we are in 110, we are officially entering the red zone. The red zone is in between, as I said, 110 and 130 RPMs. And the way we are doing it is 30 seconds push in the red zone. Just a 30 seconds push, you got it. It's, it's, it's in the end of a long, long build that we've been doing right now. So we should be halfway, 105, 106 RPMs right now. If you don't hit it spot on, it's totally okay. Just try your best. It's a great way of learning to hit these specific RPMs numbers. In 10 seconds, we are entering the red zone. Guys, get ready to enter the red zone in five, three, two, one. 30 seconds into the red zone, let's get it. Personally, I like to target 120 RPMs when I'm in red. I promise a long recovery time after this one. Just hold it all the way, 10 more seconds. Guys, you got it, come on, let's get it. Hold it. All the way now, and dropping back down. That's it, back down into the green zone. Stay at resistance one, but green zone. One final recovery of the day, guys. Amazing job. That was the red zone, how did that taste? We might even taste it one more time today. We might finish with one or two red zone pushes, but I'll tell you more about that later on. Right now, we have one minute of recovery time. Six, 60 seconds on the clock. And then, guys, we're gonna go towards the mountains. Or actually, we're gonna go towards one mountain. We're gonna go towards one mountain because mountain, we got, wanna try out that resistance fall. Resistance fall should feel like being on the steepest mountain that you've ever been on. Imagine one of those humongous Alps in France. So imagine being on one of them. That's the way it should feel. Obviously, we're gonna go there at in blue zone. So that's our lowest zone. As I said, in between 50 and 65 RPM. So brace yourself, get ready. In 15 seconds, what you can do right now to get ready is slowly add on resistance. So you slowly get up there. You go by resistance two, resistance three. And then you slowly add on until you find that spot of resistance four. I'm gonna put on a clock of two minutes. So drop down into the blue zone, resistance four, two minutes on the clock. We are officially in the... Oh. My mistake. We are officially in the blue zone resistance fall. Feel that high amount of resistance. I definitely feel it. So we are sitting down, but when that timer hits the halfway spot, that will be one minute. I want you to just briefly stand up. For 10 seconds, just stand up. Still in blue zone. But just to mix it up, it's important when we are on these high or steep, steep mountains that we mix it up a little bit. Stand up sometimes, trying to utilize some different muscles. It will give us a breath of air. And sometimes you will feel a bit more fresh afterwards. So in three, two, one, stand up for 10 seconds. And feel how we are using different muscles right now. Before we sit back down, and uh, rhythm in blue, resistance fall. All right guys, we are almost up. So for the last 10 seconds of the push towards that mountain, we're gonna stand up again. This time we're gonna push towards the green zone for the last 10 seconds, standing up in three, two, 
One, pushing towards green zone, pushing all the way up towards the top of that mountain. Three, two, one, and sit back down, loosen up resistance. Loosen up resistance on your bike. Resistance one, green zone. Woo! And guys, some breathing exercises. Make sure to breathe in all the way down to your stomach. And out one more time. There you go. Get that heart rate under control before our final efforts of the day. We're gonna do two 30 30s. So that will be resistance two. 30 seconds in green zone, 30 seconds in red zone. Back to back, so then we do one more minute, 30 seconds in green, 30 seconds in red, then we are done for the day. So guys, go ahead, find resistance two. Find your resistance two. There you go, starting off with 30 seconds in green. I'm gonna put on a clock of one minute, so know the first, the first 30 seconds will be in green, and the last 30 seconds of that minute will be in red. Then I'm putting straight away another one minute clock on, that will be the last clock of the day, with another 30 seconds green zone, 30 seconds red zone, and then we're done for the day. Guys, get ready for red zone. 30 seconds into the red zone. Resistance two we in right now. And I'll call till I count you down. Three, two, one, and red zone for 30 seconds. Resistance two. Let's finish this class off on a high. You got it, let's go. Ten more seconds, hold it. Knowing that straight away we drop down to green zone. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. 60 seconds on the, up on the clock. First 30 seconds will be green zone. And then we got the final push of the day. Final push of the day, my friends. We did, we've done it. You've just been through a beginner's class. We've been through all the zones, all the resistances, and we're gonna finish off with the last, final, and toughest push. 30 seconds red zone at resistance, two and three, two, one. Last push of the day, guys. Let's get it. All the way now, 15 seconds. Guys, we done so good so far. Let's finish off on a high. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and we just did it. Loosen up resistance. Loosen up that resistance on your bike. Resistance one, green zone, blue zone, whatever you prefer. Guys, we just did that. I'm so proud of you. For all the people on demand as well, amazing. Job. Hope you come join one of our live classes. It's so much more fun when we are here together live. Let's put that left heel towards the ground. So go ahead, push that left heel towards the ground all the way down. So you push like this heel down and hips forward. And then you'll feel a long stretch down your leg. Amazing job today. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. As I said, my name is Oliver. I'm sitting here in Copenhagen. Denmark. I teach classes on Tuesdays, but if Tuesdays doesn't fit you really well, go ahead and find some of our other amazing instructors. We have classes every day, pretty much anytime, any day, anywhere you are might be placed. Let's switch legs. And we are also active online on our Facebook community at @motosumo community and Instagram at, at @motosumo. I do have Instagram as well. You can find me if you want. Feel that stretch? So nice, important to just short, short stretching afterwards. And then breathe in with me. So nice. One last thing I would like you to do is press pause in the other hand right corner. Press pause and then 
saved this entire workout so we got all of this amazing data saved inside the app guys really that's it my name is oliver coming in from copenhagen denmark signing off see you next time have a wonderful day bye